Hey guys, so remember back in the day while growing up, having a lasagna dinner was actually like a special treat. That Sunday dinner that came once in the blue because it always took so long to make. So mommy or grandma, they would have to literally plan the day they're going to make lasagna. Well, goodbye to those days. You are going to fall in love with this recipe because you are no longer spending long hours in the kitchen making this delicious meal. This recipe is so easy to make. These are all of the ingredients we're going to use. As you can see, I just sold you the lasagna, the heavy cream, the tomato sauce, diced tomatoes. We're also gonna throw in some chicken broth here. We have some fresh minced garlic. We also have some fresh parsley and also some fresh basil. In addition to that, I chopped up some sweet mixed peppers along with one onion. And as you can see, I have a box of tomato paste here as well. Tomato paste is one of your staple ingredients that you absolutely need for this dish. The tomato paste is going to add a savory and slightly sweet flavor to your recipe and it's going to help thicken your soup as well. And you cannot forget your cheese. Your favorite cheese, I'm using mozzarella. You can use any type of cheese you like. I am adding fresh ground Italian sausage and I'm going to add my ground beef as well. If you do not eat red meat, feel free to use ground turkey. This recipe was cooked and prepped in under 45 minutes. You want to first start out by sauteing your vegetables. Make sure you add some butter to the bottom of your pan and you're going to saute these down until they are translucent. Um, next, you're going to add the minced garlic. Don't add the minced garlic right away because you don't want your garlic to burn. So you're gonna add those once your onions and peppers are just about completed. And you're gonna sweat everything down together for just a few minutes. Now you're pretty much eyeballing it. I can't tell you exactly how long you need to cook this down. It depends on your stove. Um, it depends on how quickly it cook. Now once all of your vegetables are done, add your meat. So you're going to add your ground beef. And if you're adding ground sausage as well, you're gonna add your ground sausage to the pan at the same time. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm actually breaking my meat up um, because you don't want huge chunks of meat for this recipe break it up and you're going to cook this down until you know everything is done at this point you can use whatever seasonings you like i'm using italian herb blend right now so you can use this this have a variety of different italian flavors so you can use that um also i'm going to use just a little bit of seasoned salt i'm not going to use a lot of this because i'm going to season my sauce as well so especially for those who cannot have much salt in their diet you can actually eliminate this step as well and just season your sauce i'm also going to add onion powder you know onion powder adds a lot of good flavors to your meat and you also want to go in with some black pepper as well. There's no right or wrong season to use when you're seasoning your food, guys. Whatever you and your family like, that's what you can use. This is what we like and this is what we're using. So you can also replace some of the seasoning with Mrs. Dash as well. Um, you can use uh, regular table salt and pepper or you can just eliminate salt altogether and just use the Mrs. Dash and black pepper as well. Like I said, there's no right or wrong way to season your food. It's whatever your taste buds like. I know a lot of people, they also use uh, complete seasoning as well. So if that's a staple ingredient in your kitchen, you can use that as well. You can also use garlic powder. Um, you can use Cajun seasoning. So whatever your taste buds like, that's what you use guys no right or wrong way to season your food so right now as you can see I'm just blending everything together um, make sure everything is coated with that seasoning and um, I'm just turning my meat around so that everything can cook evenly once your meat is fully cooked you're going to add your tomato paste so I just made a little space right there in the middle of the pan just like that and I'm adding my tomato paste. Now just a heads up, I ended up adding a little more than what you see here guys. So you're looking for your meat to actually turn like a deep rich color. Um, this tomato paste is also going to give 
your uh, lasagna a very um, nice rich tomato taste and it's definitely going to enhance those flavors of the the sauce uh, once you bring everything together so once you add the tomato paste just make sure you start blending everything in together until everything is fully coated and it should look just like that So now it's time to add the tomato sauce. I did not use the whole bottle. I actually just used half. So depending on the size jar that you have will depend on how much sauce you will need. And will also depend on how much of a broth you want with your soup as well. So I just added half and I'm just going to blend this in very well as you can see. Just to get an idea of how much more sauce I'm going to need that's good right there and right now I'm going to add my Mal diced tomatoes now these diced tomatoes have green chilies so I have the Mal version because we did not want it extra spicy so um, I wanted it Mal you know green chilies can tend to be a little hot so uh, depending on how spicy you like your food will depend on whether you get the Mal or the regular it's totally up to you some people also add crushed red peppers to this recipe as well to give it a bite. I eliminated that because again, I do not want my lasagna soup to be extra spicy. And this is how everything is looking so far. Look at that, looking nice and hearty and flavorful. Absolutely delicious guys. And at this point, taste your food. You're not gonna know what your food tastes like unless you taste it, y'all. You have to make sure you have enough seasoning. So taste your food at this point. If it's to your liking, you're gonna proceed with the next step. Now it's time to add your chicken broth, y'all. You can use regular chicken broth, you can use chicken stock, you can use water as well. If you're using plain water, just make sure you have some chicken bouillon on deck so that you can give that water some extra flavor. This is what's going to make your soup consistency. And as you can see, that's about how much I added. Um, of course, the amount of broth that you use would depend on the amount of soup consistency you're going to have with this dish. And this is perfect right here. Next, we're going to add the heavy cream. Now, this heavy cream is going to give your soup a very smooth texture. And it's also going to give it a very flavorful and rich flavor. You definitely need to add this heavy cream to your soup. Definitely a staple ingredient for this recipe. I added about a half a cup of the heavy cream. You don't need that much. Now it's time to add the lasagna noodles. You want to take your noodles and just break them into um, smaller pieces. Not too big, not too small because as these cook, they will um, enlarge, you know, in size. So you don't want to, um, you know, keep them too big because again, you're making soup. So as you can see, the size pieces that I have, just break them up into small pieces. I use pretty much the whole box because we definitely want to have some leftovers. So um, after you add your noodles, just make sure you stir it up really good. Make sure all the noodles is covered with that delicious broth. And then what you're going to do is boil this down until your noodles are halfway cooked, as some people will say al dente which is more so just your noodles not being too hard or too soft. So as you can see right now, I just added my fresh parsley and my fresh basil. So I'm just going to just leave this right here on top. It's going to cook down along into the soup as well to give it a very nice Italian flavor. I'm gonna put that lid on and let that go for another 20 minutes. Everything is cooking and boiling down nicely as you can see. So what I'm gonna do right now is just take my spoon and I'm going to stir this up because these noodles will stick to the bottom of the pan. So keep that in mind while you're making this dish. Make sure you incorporate stirring in between while the noodles are cooking just to make sure nothing is sticking. So right now, I'm just gonna add a little more Italian seasoning to the top of this. This is actually oregano. I love the Italian flavor and right now the flavor is pretty mild. So I'm just adding a little more to boost that Italian flavor up in this dish. 
This is optional, of course. I love the flavor of Italian herbs in my dishes, so I'm just adding because I feel like it needs a little more. You don't have to. Again, just taste your food in between, and then, you know, if there's anything extra you may need, now's the time to add it. As you can see, our lasagna soup is just about done. As you can see, those noodles did increase in size, so it did absorb a lot of that broth that I had here. If you want more broth, you can add more broth at this time. Um, I'm not going to do it, so I'm just going to add my cheese. Now, there's no right or wrong cheese to add to this dish. You can use your favorite cheese. I'm using Rock's mozzarella. You can use Parmesan, you can use Gouda, you can use um, any type of cheese you like at this time. So make sure you coat it very well because this cheese is going to melt down into the soup. So I'm just putting as much as I can. I'm trying not to get it on the sides of the pan though because I don't want my cheese sticking to the side. So I'm going to just make sure I push all that cheese deep down into the noodles if you want to add more cheese you can but i'm not this is just enough for us so i'm going to let this melt down and we are good to go guys our lasagna soup is complete absolutely delicious take care be blessed and stay safe guys bye